Mi gente, welcome to Tip Tuesday. All of these tips have to do with promo photos. Yes, promo photos. If you are a person of which who wants to promote something, rather it's your work, rather it's your artistry, whatever the case may be, if you're wanting to promote it here on Oxen Brand Music or other platforms, these tips are for you. And stick around till the end for the bonus tip because this one tends to be the most overlooked one. And honestly, if you don't do this one right, it doesn't matter what else you do and it doesn't matter how popping you are. No one is going to want to work with you. So first thing is first, in order for a platform such as ourselves, Oxen Brand Music, we need a picture. Now, before you start thinking, but oh my gosh, I don't have money for this and I can't hire a photographer or um, I can't, stop, okay, stop, stop, stop with the excuses. Let's just start with what you got. What has everybody got? A phone, okay? For the most part, we have a phone. And if we don't have a phone, guess what? I'm sure we have somebody in our life who has a phone. Use their phone, okay? Buy them Chick-fil-A lunch. Anybody and almost everybody will do anything for some Chick-fil-A. So if you're like, yo, I need some help. I need you to take some pictures of me and I will buy you lunch. Bam, there you go. Unofficially sponsored by Chick-fil-A Sweet Tea where all your joy is just one sip away. Ya tu sabes. <laughs> so just grab whatever you have access to. It doesn't have to be something super expensive. It doesn't have to even be the latest phone of any kind. Just grab something and start with that. For instance, we have a second camera that we use for YouTube and for uh, other podcast type things, right? You can tell this camera does not look the same as our first camera, but we're using what we've got until there's possibilities and people to invest into us to be able to upgrade our studio. And if you guys are using a cell phone, you can get yourself a easy, super cheap, flexi little tripod of some sort where you can actually set it up and put it on a timer. But then also what's really nice about some of these too is that some of these actually can detach from it. And so now I can take this and put it into a normal camera stand. So that way it's a little bit more functional, maybe a little bit sturdier if I'm able to do something. Or of course, as most of us do when we are watching any kind of um, social media stuff or YouTube or whatever, um, just take your phone and just prop it up on something. You know how to prop it up, you know, when your hands are all greasy because you you on Taco Tuesday time and, you know, you at Jack in the Box or wherever you get your tacos from and it's just all, ugh, okay? Do whatever it is you need to do. So, no excuses. Get a camera and get to work. All right, tip number two is lighting, okay? Lighting, proper lighting will help out whatever kind of camera you have. Again, not necessarily the best camera, but with the lighting that we have now, this camera is actually useful where before we were not using it at all. So lighting is, is very important. Guess what? The free light called the sun is such a benefit. Just make sure that you're not super blown out. Make sure it's not super dark and edgy. These are just promo pictures. You don't need to go crazy with it because the editor like myself needs something clean to work with so that we can do whatever we want to do to those images. So grab a camera, get some good lighting. Let's go to tip number three. Tip number three, speaking of clean, we need clean backgrounds, okay? Again, you don't have to go to a studio, just find a nice blank solid color wall, or if you don't have a solid color wall, throw up a, a bed sheet of some sort, throw it on the back of your door, your, your bedroom door, whatever the case, like do whatever it is that you need to do to just get a nice solid background. And, and what's also really, really important and definitely helps out on the editing is make sure that you are in focus, okay? If you're a little blurry, if you're trying to be like really crazy with the editing and all that, please don't. Please don't do that, okay? Just don't. Make it nice and clean, no crazy editing, and make sure that you are in focus. Moving on. All right, tip number cuatro. I need you to understand that as a person of which who has to do content creation, I cannot stand it when I've only have been given one to two images, nine times out of 10, and it's in the exact same pose. What are we doing? If you want to allow me to be able to create as much content as possible, I need multiple photo angles, okay? Now, 
I'm not saying, you know, to, to do all this stuff. That's, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is maybe take a couple of pictures facing forward, maybe some headshots. Okay. That typically tends to be from head to about chest area, maybe some side profiles. And also some full body is definitely helpful as well, especially with all of the content being vertical content, the more full body shot, the uh, more zoomed out shots are so much more helpful than these cropped weird shapes let's also not give us images where like your right shoulder is like cut out from it like don't don't do that okay because if i want to post something and i want to put you smack dab in the middle i can't because you're looking like like pac-man just like took a bite i, I can't what, what, what am i supposed to do with that i move you all the way over to the border okay cool i can do that so now in a thumbnail you've got me or whoever like fully in frame and then you got you way over to the side because there's nothing else I could do with it, okay? So multiple angles and make sure that you are fully in frame. All right, last tip, and this is one of the most crucial of them all because you want to make it simple for the person who is trying to use your stuff for promo, which is put it all in one folder, okay? Dear Lord. Please let these people know who are watching this right now, put it in one folder. You put it all in one folder, it makes it so much easier to send me one link, rather it's from a WeTransfer, Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever the case may be. If you put it all in one spot, what's really helpful for me is maybe um, I'm in a rush and maybe I can only grab one photo, all right? I'll grab that in there, but then maybe there's some more time left over. I decide to stay up till 4 a.m. like I'm doing right now then at least i can go back and go oh great they gave me multiple images in fact now since i have more options i'm actually going to go ahead and create a little bit more stuff or i could even make it a little fancy and put one image for one platform another image for another platform and so on and such all right so to review grab a camera any kind of camera just get started lighting make sure that the lighting is good make sure that it is clean no crazy lights in the background don't make it really artsy just nice clean lighting where you can see yourself fully clean background make sure that the background is a solid color of some sort and that you are uh, able to see yourself that you are in focus not blurry not kind of chopped off an arm also make sure that you have multiple angles give as many angles as you want it's up to you whatever you're comfortable with but the more options the better for the editor and then finally make sure that you put it all in one folder so that way it's easy access to go back to or to download all at once in one space so that way we're not chasing down dms we're not chasing separate emails it's just all in one spot and here we are in the bonus round bonus tip for you is to be professional you would assume that that could be assumed but obviously common sense is not that common so professional just means that you are timely right that you don't talk to the person or group or organization as if they're your homie on the couch where you guys are eating some doritos late at night playing call of duty and you guys are like in your socks and picking at your belly button I don't know how else to say it, all right? Just be timely, be professional with everything, be authentic to who you are, but at the same time, understand that the way that you communicate also kind of gives off a certain uh, perception about you. So speak in such a manner that is professional, present yourself in such a manner that is professional, and you will be taken seriously as a professional. Hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios.